Hey folks, we're diving down into some critical catalyst I see coming around the corner for a stock I covered several months ago on this channel called Universal Prop Tech. Now this company has an exclusive sales license to a technology they claim by merely scanning your finger with light can detect everything from COVID to specific drugs within your blood completely uninvasively. So we're going to be talking about that. We're going to do a broad view of the company first and foremost, the current product offerings. We're going to talk about some of the clients, which are huge. They're currently operating under their belt. And we're going to break down the stock as well and how it's currently performing in this risk off environment. Now that is a conversation you can appreciate in return. I simply ask that of course you hit that like button folks, because first and foremost, universal prop tech trades on the TSXV under UPI. Now it's currently trading for around 11 cents a share, about a $5.19 million market cap and has been retracing in the current risk off environment and it looks like it's been finding a bottom recently and we're going to dive down into the balance sheet just to see where the company currently sits because they are way more robust than a lot of the small caps I currently look at which you can currently see by some of the financials that were recently released but first and foremost here guys the client list this company has is insane I mean we're talking about the Canadian government Brookfield uh, Global Integrated Solutions Manulife Canada Post the University of Toronto they've been operating with some of these clients for over 40 years here folks so what is the products they're currently operating well they're all primarily focused toward HVAC they have this fully controlled subsidiary called VCI controls. And with this kind of uh, subsidiary they own, they're doing everything from trying to stop the spread of COVID-19 with air quality control. They're dealing with mechanical uh, stuff from maintenance services to installation. They get into tech services and technology. They're looking at renewables, generation, storage, electric vehicles, and integration. They're getting into building performance. So they're dealing with everything from energy management to audits to building systems. And then of course, innovation and distribution. So they're getting into the marketing, retail, dealers, and sales support. So the primary thing we're going to be focusing on this video is a company called Iceberg. Now, UPI will act as the exclusive sales agent for Spotlight 19, a technology and other future platform offerings for the government and educational sectors in Canada. Now, Spotlight, as I mentioned here, guys, is a non-invasive scan of a person's finger with a harmless beam of light designed to provide confirmation of COVID-19 infection in less than a minute at low cost testing. Now, currently, they want to try and get this into airports, border crossings, government buildings, schools, campuses, entertainment complexes, and so much more. So we're going to be talking about the catalyst about what I see coming up potentially in the next couple of months here with where they're at but let's just talk about some of their other investment exposure because they do have something called air sniper now air sniper has developed a solution that properly applies ultraviolet germicidal irradiation to its UVC technology and is a suitable for industrial scale applications and they also have Pierre systems now this is a strategic partner that specializes in designing intellectual or intelligent particle sensors and air quality monitors that leverage our particle counting IC or ICS for various application pairs, unique ultra low power, high precision signal processors deliver the most accurate and reliable real time data. So just reading through this, the technology that protects people. Now UPI is introducing touchless facial recognition, temperature detection and multi factor authentication technology to improve hygiene and security standards in any public high risk or restricted access environment. Now Delta X trust solutions can be applied to communities, office buildings, bus stations, airports, hotels, schools, hospitals, and other public places that have heavy traffic, helping to achieve uh, intelligent security management and disease prevention. Now, utilizing our integration approach for VCI is in the process of rolling out Delta X technology to certain key clients. So it's nice that they have clients who are already partnered with to start scaling a lot of this stuff out. So their investment strategy is basically utilizing UV to sanitize building environments, energy efficiency with AI machine learning, energy management of supply and demand loads with AI machine learning, heat recovery systems, thermal optimization systems, and fintech. Okay, so this is kind of just the general overview of how they're currently operating with these government and these basically like really large client uh, operations, which is just wonderful, right? But Spotlight 19, the reason that I really want to fixate on this because they've kind of gone radio silent since last November that they were going into clinical trials with this stuff. And there's been a recent thing from the US National Liberty of Medicine, and they offered this little bit of an anecdote for where they're at. So they were recently running these trials with about 12,500 participants, but we can see that the estimate uh, primary completion date is April 30th of 2022. So that's coming up very quickly. And then the study completion date for the estimate is between April 30th and July of 31st. So in the next couple months, we're going to get to find out how pivotal this technology really is. Now, this goes so far beyond just the current pandemic situation because they're realizing this technology can detect a lot more than just viruses in your blood. So they're running a current study to detect 
And just reading into this, the purpose of the investigation will be to determine whether Spotlight THC device is reliable measure of THC impairment at the roadside with an objective to identify a unique blood anal uh, analyte architecture for THC impairment using near uh, infrared uh, light and machine learning. Now in the current environment, when we're talking about beyond alcohol testing for roadside impairment, they're, they're basically mouth swabs that can't really tell how impaired you truly are. But if we can see within your actual blood, this is going to be hugely pivotal for law enforcement guys. And it looks like the estimated primary completion date is August of 2022. So this is another really big pivotal factor because they just started doing the testing on this in March of 2022 and they have 75 participants enrolled. So these two catalysts for this are massive because when I recently pulled up their last interim here, guys, going into February of 28th, 2022, we can see that their total assets are sitting at about 5.5 million against the current liability or total liability of about 2 million. So fairly robust from that aspect, but this company actually has really good sales already that have been growing. So for the six month end guys from this year prior for 2021, going into February, uh, February 28th, they did about 3.9 million in revenue at which they're currently sitting at about 4.1 with a gross profit going from 1.4 million to about 1.3 million. So there is a little bit more cost of sales coming into play here and they're still operating at a loss, but these are very controllable losses. In my opinion, this is something you really have to pay attention to with small cap companies because even though their gross profit was 1.3 million, they're showing a comprehensive loss of 148,000. But a lot of that could have been mitigated through the general and administrative. I mean, the depreciation of assets, stock-based compensation, inventory and provision. So most of it's coming from the general and administrative. They do this so they don't have to pay taxes, continue growing the company, et cetera, et cetera. But from a revenue standpoint, this company is doing pretty incredible. To be generating 1.3 million in gross profit against a current market cap of only 5 million is fairly decent. I mean, I don't know many small caps that are achieving the same kind of results as that. And again, going back to that asset side of things, guys, they are sitting on over a million in cash as well. So they're in a very good situation and I'm very excited to see how this technology rolls out from these trials. So just something to put on your watch list. Now there's two ways you can generally approach this. You can just wait to see how this technology evolves, see how the market takes to it. And if it is that pivotal, then maybe make the investment. If you're more risk on, this company already has a really robust balance sheet. I feel like the stock is relatively found a bottom here and you could buy it with these catalysts coming forward. And if these catalysts do come into fruition, I imagine the stock's going to perform pretty well considering the clients and the revenue they're already generating. But again, this company reached out to me. I'm leaving the full disclaimers in the description below and I would pass the question off to you. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Let me know in that comment section, but stay cool, stay awesome. And as always, I look forward to catching you in the next one.